Hey guys, Apple has just released iOS 8 Beta 3 Developer Preview to all developers, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 8 Beta 3 on any iOS 8 compatible device. So in this video I'm using an iPhone 5, and I do already have the iOS 8 Beta 3 running. It runs very well, and I gotta tell you, if you're looking to run it as your you know, official firmware, you can do that now. However, Apple doesn't recommend it, but yes, you can run it. It is that stable. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to install it absolutely for free, no UDID registration necessary, no developer account needed. Anyways, I'll show you how to install it and I'll show you all the little differences, basically all the changes and fixes in iOS 8 Beta 3. Now the easiest possible way to install iOS 8 Beta 3 is of course just to go into Settings, General, and software update and install it here. Now the only way you can do this unfortunately is if you do have iOS 8 beta 1 or beta 2 already installed on your device. Now if you do, it's really simple, you know, you don't even have to connect it to your computer. You just go ahead and do it through here. However, it does take a while right now, especially because the servers are overloaded, but you know, it's about 300 megabytes to go ahead and install this. Really simple, it'll reboot your device after and there you go, you have iOS 8 Beta 3. Now, if you don't currently have an iOS 8 Beta installed, no problem. Let's go ahead and head over to my computer and I'll show you how to do it just as easily there. Now, the process of actually installing this from your computer onto your device is actually really simple. So all you need is iOS 8 Beta 3 downloaded to your desktop. This works either on a Mac or Windows and I'll put links to where you can download it down below in the description. So once you have it, it should look just like this. Now, you guys wanna go ahead and go into iTunes, make sure your device is plugged in and go ahead and hold option and left click, check for update on a Mac or shift and left click on Windows. And then it'll bring up this menu, go to your desktop or wherever that firmware is downloaded and go ahead and select it and select open. And it'll ask you to go ahead and update and go ahead and select update. This is a really simple process. Guys, it'll take maybe like five, 10 minutes in the end. And once you do have you know this installed, you go back to your device, you just go through the activation process and boom, you have iOS 8. So I'm just gonna take a minute and show you guys what's new in this new version of iOS 8 beta. First off, very small, but if you go into wallpapers, you'll notice that there is a new option for a wallpaper. It's this grayscale one right here that I do have, so that's pretty neat. Now the weather application does display information a little bit differently than the previous beta. If you scroll down, you know, the information is displayed a little bit differently. It's neat and it's laid out well. In settings, general, keyboard, Inside, there is a new option to disable quick type if you don't need it or don't want it. So that is a new addition to the keyboard settings. In general settings, there's now an option to disable handoff, which is basically an iCloud thing for all of your apps. So you can go ahead and disable it here if you would like. Inside of iCloud, you now have an iCloud drive option and you can go ahead and upgrade and use that there. In settings messages, if you scroll down, you now have an option to automatically keep messages in that Snapchat-like feature in messages. And if you don't have this enabled, they automatically delete in a certain amount of time. There's also been some small tweaking with names in the photos application, so nothing too big. However, you know, iOS 8 is still being optimized, still being tweaked, little features, little fixes here and there. But iOS 8 Beta 3 overall is running very well. I can't see any crashing yet, so it is safe to run. However, I personally still wouldn't use it as my official firmware. Anyways, guys, that's how to install iOS 8 Beta 3 for you and what's new, what's changed. Have a great day. Enjoy the latest beta. Peace.